Hi everyone, it's Erlene of Erlene Garcia Art and the Hollywood Carney Channel. Today I will be sharing with you how I put together my smudge kits for sale or gift giving and the items that are included. Some of you already know that I am a federally recognized Indian. To smudge, start by standing in the east of the area to be cleansed. Place a lit sage wood, tobacco, sweetgrass, cedar, or incense in an abalone shell. Fan outward with a feather or crystal. Start walking clockwise, stating your blessings, prayers, petition, or wish. Thank Mother Earth and the Creator for the blessings, hearing your prayers, petition, or wish. In a well-ventilated area, use caution and respect when working with fire. To smudge yourself or another person, always start with the heart. Fan the heart and move up to the head, arms, and lastly, your legs. Thank Mother Earth and the Creator for the blessings, hearing your prayers, petition, or wish. To smudge your medicine bag, altar, amulets, talisman, crystals, or other sacred items, sit with your sacred items, have a clear mind, concentrate on the item, and state your petition or wish. Fan your objects or pass them through the smoke. Thank Mother Earth and the Creator for the blessings, hearing your prayers, petition, or wish. This is one of the many smudge kits that I offer in my Etsy store, and I would like to share with you how I package them and prepare them, and also teach you how to make a small smudge fan. So this is simulated sinew. I use this to wrap around the leather on the smudge fan. Now, if you do not have access to sinew, you can use leather or cord. I'm using two feathers. One is a duck and one is a rooster. You will be needing a small piece of leather or felt, some turquoise chips or beads of your choice, a hot glue gun, two glue sticks, needle nose pliers, two charms, two jump rings, stamp ink, alphabet stamps, so we could stamp out the word tobacco. You will be needing tobacco as well. A glass miniature vial. I'm using a pine wood slice as a stand. Abalone shell, they're also called donkey ears. You can also use a different type of shell if you have that on hand selenite rods, Palo Santo holy wood, sweet grass. Now I took the long strip of sweet grass. As some of you know, it comes in about a 36 inch uh, strand and it comes braided. So I cut them into small little braids like this. You will also be needing some cotton cord because people do burn the sweet grass. Um, cellophane bags and some Himalayan sea salt. Your smudge feather, of course. Um, some information on you as the artist. If you have any, a cellophane bag. You will be needing grass filler. I picked that up at the dollar store. Um, this is what I was talking about, the alphabet stamp, and I'm using just a basic little plain card stock and some basic glue. You can use Elmer's glue if you have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie all of these three together. Uh, my dog is making noise in the background if you hear something. So what we're going to do is double the cord and then we're going to crisscross it. Now, this is usually how, what we do with the leather when we braid our hair, we crisscross it. And I just love that look and I usually do that on my pieces like this and I also do it on my feathers. So after you tie it on there, knot it and trim it and cut that loop. I love the way it looks. It's so fresh and natural. You could even just give this as a gift if you so desired. So cut the strings. Look at that. I love it, I love it, I love it. That would look really cute in a cellophane bag just by itself. 
with a little label attached. So let's continue. Let's take a test look of how it's going to look when they receive it. So the little pine stand I actually got during the Christmas season and saved the pieces from the man cutting the trees. And I used a small cellophane bag for the Himalayan salt, the glass vial. I also ordered the Palo Santos Holy Wood online along with the selenite. Now you could probably find that in your local metaphysical store. And on the leather wrapping here, I like to measure it before I put it on the feather. Now be very careful with the glue that you don't get it in the feather. You never want to see the workmanship of pieces that you used. It has to kind of all flow and look natural. And I'm doing a very tiny, tiny dot to make sure that the rooster feather stays on top of the duck feather and make sure there's none of those little glue spider webby thingies lingering around. Um, if you do not have access to leather, you can go to your local thrift shop and cut apart a pair of pants or skirts and use the leather from that and probably even make some really cool medicine bags out of it. Okay, so now we're going to take the sinew and basically I purchase it on a spool like this. It does come apart and you can make it into as many thin strips as possible. It is a little sticky and that makes it stay on your item that you're creating and it stays in place. So firmly do the crisscross again like we did on the selenite and then we're going to do a double knot on each side when we reach the bottom. Sinew was originally used in the old day and it was animal tendon and it took many, many days and night for it to cure. And from what I understand, it was very hard to work with. Now, what you need to do is twist the end of it and you do not need a needle. You can just go ahead and thread your turquoise chips on. I put three on each side, or will be putting three on each side, and I will just do a little basic surgeon's knot, and then I will do the same on the other side. Also, did you know that worldwide feathers have mystical and symbolic meanings from the type of bird, color, and wingspan? The feathers represent faith, love, angels, protection, peace, freedom, power, wisdom, and strength. A feather will appear to you when your guardian angel is near. Embrace the message. A smudge feather or feathered fan is used to direct the blessings or petition to the wind spirit. The wind spirit carries the prayers to the creator. When smudging, always hold the feather or fan at an angle with the inside of the wing facing toward the smoke of the burning herb or resin, and then brush up. The cellophane bag can be found in the paper part of your hobby or craft store, and it's basically for greeting cards. I decided since I had a thousand of them to use it as a um, container to market my smudge kits and I love the way that it looks. It's very clean, it's crisp, and you can see your gift right away. So that's what I call thinking out of the box because I was using um, really nice cardboard boxes for my sage kits and I found that it was getting a little bit pricey. So I thought, what else do I have? and I looked around in my art supplies, and if some of you have seen my office online, then you know that I have a ton of them. So, um, yeah, so you could use these little cellophane bags for other little treats that you create. Um, so in this part, I'm taking the cotton cord and I'm tying it just like you would a present at an angle. And then the leftover string, I'm just going to do a basic overhand loop trim off that little ex excess 
And then I'm going to attach my two feather charms. Now I'm using feather charms because I do have a, a large amount of charms. You can use any type of charm that you have. And I just thought the feathers looked really cool. You could probably even use beads or, you know, your other uh, semi-precious stones that you might have on hand. Now, if you don't have jump rings, you could probably just slide that cord through your charm if the charm had a large hole on it. But with the jump rings, it just adds a little um, jingling jingling effect. Now, this is my certificate of authenticity for um, my tribal affiliation. Now, you can put your artist card or any type of information you might have. If you don't have it, then put your name somewhere on the packaging so people know who it's coming from. And what I did is I just slid the feather in that tie and I'm really happy with the way this came out. Now the other smudge kits that I have, like I said, I was using a little cardboard box that had a cellophane window. I would use the same grass filler and put all of these pieces inside of the box. And I sold out on all of them which made me super happy. But another thing that I do is I labeled all of the pieces that came in the smudge kit and I also made the matches that you see at the top left hand corner and each side of the matchbox I stamped. And if you decide to make one of these sacred gifts, please include information for the receivers so they know what to do with the smudge kit. Also, tobacco, it guards the east door of the medicine wheel. We offer tobacco to Mother Earth when borrowing from her. Tobacco absorbs your prayer. The smoke meets the wind spirit and carries messages and prayers to our creator. The sweet grass guards the south door of the medicine wheel. It's considered the hair of Mother Earth. Denotes healing properties, mindfulness, and permeates spiritual insight. The abalone shell is used in sacred ceremonies by many cultures worldwide. Abalone is a natural element representing Mother Earth, brings healing from the ocean, teaches us to be more compassionate. Native Americans use abalone with sage and prayers for protection and purification ceremonies. Palo Santo is Spanish, meaning holy wood or wood of saints. It's treasured in South America for its medicinal and purifying properties. A mystical tree that offers good luck to the believers of its magic. The aromatic citrus scent of this holy wood is said to activate tranquility, creativity, and healing energy while releasing misfortune. Used to cleanse your home of evil spirits and negative energy. The charcoal is also used in smudging rituals and spiritual ceremonies. The Palo Santo tree is of the copal, myrrh, and frankincense family. Salt rock, also known as pink halite and Himalayan salt rock, an excellent grounding stone, beneficial for love, prosperity, protection, mindfulness, and abundance. Used to balance emotions and stress. It promotes benefits to your skin, detoxing your body while replenishing your energy, and can be carried as a talisman for good luck. Selenite, also known as Maria Glass, Desert Rose, and Satin Spar, is named after Selene, the Greek goddess of the moon. It's an essential and powerful high vibration stone. You can use it in your spiritual work for love, fertility, fidelity, reconciliation, strength, healing, inner peace, clarity, protection, and cleansing. The healing properties can also be obtained to purify and energize your body in a bath as it dissolves in water. It's beneficial to open the portal to the past and future lives. You can put it in the corners of your home to attract serenity. The pine is longevity and love. And last but not least, the turquoise is a sacred stone to American Indians uniting heaven and earth. You can use it as a talisman for justice and success. It's excellent in legal matters and it's a stone of power and nobility. It empowers wisdom and creativity. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have a happy day. Bye.